Brad, everyone's talking about Angular 2, but uh, I'm going to jump the gun. Is there going to be an Angular 3? <laughs> That's a good question. I think, you know, once one of the things that we uh, have realized is when we started Angular 1, we didn't foresee all of the ways that it would be used. And we actually, you know, having never built a framework before, we, we didn't see so that far down the path. I think one of the things that we showed off at the conference here is some, some real deep insight into what a framework should be, whether it's a web-based framework or just like any kind of an application framework. And we made this move starting right now where we've separated the rendering portion of Angular from the backend components. We always had really good separation concerns because we were so focused on testability, but now we have the ability to move Angular into many different contexts. We showed how we can move into the server side, how we can work against native for mobile, and how we can work on the other side of the web worker stack. So I think we've got a tremendous amount of headroom in Angular 2 where we didn't have it in Angular 1 that I don't think we're going to have to make breaking changes this way. This is a much more generic framework, and so do I see an Angular 3 on the horizon? Nowhere close. So everyone's obsessed with the, the timing of Angular 2. How do you, I mean, how do you manage that obvious, obvious question that you cannot answer? Right, right. Yeah, I'm not good at predicting the future. I think like we try to predict the future in Angular 1.2, and we got it so very wrong. And so the what we're doing instead is being very clear about where we are and showing all of our progress through the GitHub milestones, through our weekly meeting notes, and through updates at the conference like this one to help people understand exactly what we have done and what are the pieces that are left. And so that was a big focus of the conference. What has excited you the most about this conference? I mean, this is your child, Angular, uh, and these are just people that are so passionate about it. What has excited you the most about it? I, I think that we have, I think, come up with a good message for how we're going to get from Angular 1 to Angular 2. There's, there's a lot of work that's still to be done, but you know, for like at Google, we spent two years as sort of an unpopular project. And so the fact that, that we have attained the success we have, and with all of the headroom that we have in Angular 2, I think that ability to move from Angular 1 to Angular 2 really excites me that the community is going to be able to come along with this in this transition. Awesome, Brad, thanks for your time. David, thanks a lot.